2022 may well be one of the toughest years in crypto's history, but there's one country where the sector has struggled more than anywhere else. India. India had some big changes for crypto last year. Right in the midst of the crypto winter, two new crypto taxes were introduced there, and it all caused trading volumes to crater. Announced at last year's union budget, gains on digital assets are now subject to a 30% tax, and a 1% tax deducted at source, or a TDS, is levied on all transactions over 120 US dollars. Now, according to the ESIA Center think tank, these taxes could lead to losses around $1.2 trillion in local exchange trading volume over the coming four years. Unsurprisingly, the industry is hoping for better news at this year's budget, and that's going to be presented at Parliament on February the 1st. Sumit Gupta of CoinDCX told Forecast that the mood within the crypto space is understandably not great at the moment. Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty from a policy point of view, right, with a lot of the uh, uh, things and statements that are coming up. So I think from a sentiment point of view, this this definitely uh, negatively impacts the sentiments uh, for both builders, people who are building in this space, and also people, uh, the consumers, people who are a part of that ecosystem. Samit says the government's intention of using the TDS as a method of tracking and monitoring transactions has actually backfired. What has happened is that uh, a lot of these transactions uh, have moved uh, offshore or some of the foreign exchanges where uh, the TDS is not applicable and, and what is happening is that this is resulting into losses for the exchequer or basically uh, the potential revenues that could come you know, uh, because of the volumes that have moved outside. The taxes didn't go into place straight after last year's budget. The 30% tax on gains was not actually implemented until April the 1st, while the 1% TDS didn't come in until July the 1st. The pain, though, for local exchanges began immediately, with trading volumes falling 15% in February and March. And so the industry decided to fight back by lobbying the government to try and remedy the situation. Sumit says the recommendations included things like reducing both the taxes, with the suggestion that the TDS in particular should go down from 1% to 0.01%. They also want the government to reconsider the ban on offsetting losses. What we fundamentally believe is that such kind of uh, stakeholder consult consultation is the right way forward and uh, you will not uh, see the result in like uh, very quickly. Uh, sometimes things take time. So we have submitted uh, our representation. We have been uh, providing information from our side, from an industry side. And uh, a lot of those information uh, we believe uh, is going to be uh, uh, relevant and healthy for them to, uh, you know, consider and take a decision which is in the best interest of the con uh, country. Sami adds that the government would be wise to consider moving past focusing on crypto and looking towards use cases for blockchain technology. One example would be promoting the use of blockchain to make remitting money into the country easier and cheaper. Given that, according to the World Bank, inward remittances were set to hit the $100 billion mark in India last year, that would be a pretty big deal. Even if there isn't good news though for the industry of the budget this time around, Sumi remains positive. People will keep on building, uh, companies will keep on uh, building solutions, building products. Uh, anyway, like this is not a space where you will see every, like, you know, uh, we, are, we are not in it for the short term, right? We are here to uh, nurture and shape the industry, you know, from, you know, 10, 20 years point of view. And, and uh, one year here and there doesn't make much of a difference in that cycle. But we would be very happy if that gets accepted. And, and if TDS is brought down, uh, and not just from my point of view, I think uh, millions of Indians would be very happy. We will, of course, keep an eye on that and update you on what happens on Budget Day, February the 1st, to so make sure you join us afterwards. Otherwise, that's it from us for this episode. Do like and subscribe to the video if you want to see more content like it and let us know your thoughts on what's happening in India right now in the comments below or wherever you're watching this video.